So hello everyone. In this video, what we are going to see. So uh, today we'll see how we can use DBT with the Snowflake platform. Okay. So let me tell you what is a DBT. So DBT is a another tool and uh, it's a data build tool. So DBT we are mainly using for the transformation purposes. So like we have uh, other tools like data form, which is there recently, uh, it's uh, acquired by the GCP. So similarly, we have the DBT data build tool and we are using the DBT tool for the data transformation purposes. So you can also uh, create uh, like you can after integrating this DBT and uh, Snowflake. So you can also uh, orchestrate this pipeline using the Airflow, which you'll be seeing in our coming videos. So uh, today we'll see how we can use the DBT along with the snow, uh, Snowflake. So uh, initially DBT when it was released, so it was only supporting the SQL languages. So uh, whenever you are writing any script in the DBT, you'll, be, you'll have to write it using the SQL languages and you, you need to, you can also use the Jinja template. Okay, so, but uh, recently DBT has also uh, release the python person so right now we can use also the python to create uh, our script to create our model and then we can integrate uh, and we can run that on on our snowflake data warehouse platform so today we are going to see this demo how we can use uh, dbt uh, using python and we can create our tables and models on the Snowflake Data Warehouse platform. Uh, if you want to learn more about the DBT, you can go to their uh, official documentation. This is the, the official documentation provided by the DBT. So here you can see all the model. There is the model folder and then the config folder. Okay, and uh, how you can create the model in the DBT using Python. So you can see that. So today now coming to the uh, demo. So uh, here, as you can see, we have a model folder, okay? And there is a seed, there is a seed folder. So the seed folder, you can uh, put all your static data inside the seed folder. And if you want to store this static data, I'll show you how you can upload it directly to the Snowflake data warehouse table. So to the here, and, and then, uh, so, Maybe in another video, I'll, I'll talk about how to set up this DBT in your local uh, system. So there are two versions of DBT. One is DBT Core, another one is DBT Cloud. And the version which I am using now, it's a DBT Core, which I've installed on my system. Uh, so here, as you can see, there is a model folder. Inside the model folder, I have a uh, staging folder, and then I have the uh, models folder, like the customer model and the order model which I am going to create. Okay, and here inside the schema, I have uh, defined the structure of my model. So uh, starting with the staging folder. So first of all, I have my staging folder. Inside the staging folder, I am creating three more staging model. One is uh, staging customer, another one is staging order, another one is staging payment. All these data, how I am creating. So if I'll go to staging customer, I have defined the logic here using Python. I hope you will be able to understand it. So here, what I'm doing, I'm referencing raw customer data and the raw customer data is coming from my seed file. So here I, I have the actual data, which I will be loading to my Snowflake data warehousing platform. Uh, so I'll, I'll be loading uh, Snowflake data and here there is the order data and here there is the payment data. So similarly, I have three models in the staging layer. So one is customer model, another one is ordered model and the payment model. So I have defined that uh, I have created this logic and I have also mentioned which are the columns I'm selecting inside this Python function. And uh, so here we are using the snow park. Uh, and here if, if you go to the schema YML file, so I have defined the structure of each of this staging model. For example, this is the staging model, how many columns will be there whether I'm, uh, I am running any test cases, uh, like the, all the columns should be unique. So this customer ID should be unique and should be not null. 
So that test is uh, a test test I have specified here. Similarly, here also, if you'll see that it's a staging ordered model. And for that, I have uh, mentioned the column name ordered ID, and then uh, the ordered ID should be unique and not known. So that I have mentioned inside the test. Similarly, here, the status column, these are the accepted values of the status column. So that I have mentioned inside the test. Similarly, I have defined for the stage, uh, staging payment model. And now coming to the final model, or uh, you can also keep this model inside a mat folder or any other folder. So here, what we are doing, uh, if you'll see the customer model, I am creating using the, uh, by referencing the staging layer model. So in the staging layer, I have created customer's model, order model, and the payment model. Here, you can see inside the staging uh, folder. And all these three models I'm referencing and I'm creating the uh, customer model, okay? And here I'm just doing some uh, transformation to create a customer model. Similarly here in the order model, okay? So I have also mentioned the, I'm using the order, uh, staging order model data and the staging payment data. So these are the two models which I'm using. So that's why I can, I can see, you can see here, I'm uh, using the reference and uh, I'm referencing these two models and then I'm creating the uh, 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 order model. Okay. Now coming to how to how you can do the setup before running this. So you can see if you go to this DBT project. So here you can mention the profile name. So inside this profile, uh, so it will go to by default, the profile will be present inside your uh, DBT folder. So for example, once you'll install the dbt, so the profile will be present inside the .dbt folder. Inside the .dbt folder, there will be a profile.yml file. So by default, it will be created. And here, uh, so when you have mentioned inside the dbt project folder, the, your profile name, so it will go to this db .dbt and it will check for that particular profile name. So here you can see, I have mentioned my Snowflake profile name and I have mentioned my username and the password. And uh, so here I can see, you can see I have also mentioned my which role and the databases I'm going to use, okay? So this is how you need to mention uh, so that the connection, you will be able to establish the connection with the Snowflake. And uh, once you have mentioned, then you can also mention after that uh, the model path, then the seed path inside which you have mentioned, this, you have put the your seed file uh, macro path, we are not using any macro here. And also you can also mention the model. So here we are I'm creating, there is, I have a staging model inside the staging model. I'm creating the tables. Uh, so if, if you are, if you are, uh, whether you want to create a table or you want to create the uh, uh, view so that you can mention inside the model. So uh, let's see how we can run. And this is the snowflake, uh, which I have set up. So this is my, uh, snowflake right now if we'll see uh there are no tables okay so let me delete let me drop all this table okay so i'm going to use this uh, demo db public uh, schema demo db the database and the public schema I'm going to use. So right now there are no tables. And so first of all, I'll be loading the seed data. So how to load the seed data? Uh, I'll go to my terminal. So I have created um, a virtual environment for the dbt. So let me go to, uh, let me activate that virtual environment. So this is my virtual environment, which I have uh, created. And now once you have uh, created your profile file, once you have uh, 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 created your dbt project file, so you can just do, you can run the dbt debug command. You know, to check with it, your profile information uh, and the uh, Snowflake user information, password information, everything is correct or not. So it will run a debug and it will check if all the connection uh, is uh, correct, all the credentials and the profile information is matching or not. So it will check the profile file and the dbt project file, okay? So once all the checks are passed, uh, then what you can do, so uh, the next step is you can load your data, your raw data, you can load to the Snowflake uh, data warehouse. So for that, uh, you can run the dbt seed command. 
so that it will load the uh, data. It, it will automatically check. It will go to this the seeds folder, which we, uh, we have mentioned here. Uh, my seed path is seeds. So it will go to seed folder and it will load this data or customer and uh, uh, ordered and payment data to my Snowflake. So here you can see it has already loaded the data to the Snowflake public schema. And if you go to the uh, Snowflake, you can also verify that. So you can see uh, it has loaded the raw data and order data and the payment information or payment table also it has loaded. Now, once the data has been loaded, uh, so you can run the command. So next command is uh, the dbt run command, which you can run to create your model based on the transformation steps which I've defined. So uh, here, these are the three the raw tables which will be used in my staging layer. And then this staging layer table will be used in my final layer, which is customer PY and the order PY. Now you can see uh, it is running successfully. So if you'll get any error, so there is something called dbt log. If you'll go to the dbt log, uh, it will be able to figure out in which step the error is happening and what is the issue. So then you can it'll be able to check the error and it can resolve it as well. So now you can see the uh, dbt uh, run has completed and it has created the models in the Snowflake. So if I'll go to my Snowflake uh, data warehousing platform, so I can see it has created the customer model, it has created the staging model, okay? So uh, the customer data, I can also you can see, so it has created the model based on the transformation which I have mentioned in my uh, uh, in my file, okay? So that's all for uh, this video, thank you.